Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be a kind of a quick tip. Uh, a lot of you guys ask about uh, backgrounds and that kind of thing. So I wanted to show you guys a easy background that you can use in your art journal on ATC cards, canvas, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take some colors. Now, this is a block that I use for, you know, you put your stamps on here and then you stamp. So we're going to use this. We're going to use my glass and we're going to use, this is like wax paper. So it would be the uh, shiny side of wax paper. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some paint, acrylic paint. And please excuse, I have so much going on uh, art wise that it's just a little bit of a mess. So we're going to use our folk art paint and we're just going to do a little dot here. Just a little squeeze. We'll do. <laughs> you know what? We'll do, we'll stick with that. Cause I'm thinking in my head how to, uh, and we're going to do a little red over here and a little white right there. Okay. Yeah, you can see them. Okay. So now I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to take a fairly big paintbrush. You can just spray your water on there too. Matter of fact, why don't I do that? Cause that'd probably be easier. And you see, I'm just squirting and squirting and squirting. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I start light to dark. You can see it's really spreading. It's okay. Not the biggest deal. I'll go into some red and blue. Okay. You can tell my desk kind of goes that way. So let me do the movie on this way. Okay. So now I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to give it a little poke off. So I want these colors. Well, one thing you can do is you can see how we're just pushing the glass down and then lifting up. And then in my art journal, going to push it down. Why does my focus go on and I don't turn it on? Give it a push and lift it up. Oh, I did red, white, and blue, and I did not mean to. <laughs> and I rhymed. I'm a busty boy. All right. So you see how you get this beautiful, beautiful background, right? But what do you do if you don't have a glass? You know, you don't have this glass. You don't have this. So... We're going to use some of this and all I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm sorry. I got so much going on here. I'm going to just take the shiny side. Come on, Kel. The shiny side of life. Always look on the sunny side of life and look. And then I will do the same kind of thing. Give it a smush. Lift it up. And you see what you get. And look, we're starting a page here. So then I can go in. I can take it a different way. Uh, maybe I want more red and white. Now, I picked these colors. The reason I picked these colors is because they will blend into other colors, obviously, right? So you can see. Um you know, red and white make a pink, red and blue make a purple. <clears throat> so we get a little bit more bang for our buck. But you can see, look at that. So we're getting a background. And when you go to dry it, if, oh, there we go. You can see you get these great backgrounds. Now this did uh, do a little bit better. Now look, it doesn't uh, matter at the end of the day. 
um, whether you use, you know, wax paper or whatever, um, because, you know, you use what you have. Uh, if you get packages like, um, oh, I don't even know what it comes in, but you can use, um, the plastic that comes like in like those hard, uh, plastic things that you cut, you can go to the dollar store and pick something up. You can, um, I'm just looking, I'm wondering, I wonder if we use a ruler. Let's try it. Let's push it down. Come on, baby. Might be all pulling here. Let's see. And then we'll push it here. Oh, yeah, let me show you. And you can see it mingling in there. Look at me go. I'm trying all kinds of new things here. So that is obviously a ruler. Oh, I forgot to bring some paper towels in here. I have the wipes sitting there though. Okay, so that's the ruler. And then I'm looking at, because I've been baking polymer clay. What about a piece of foil? Now I know you're going to get blasted, 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 but I just have a piece of foil. I have it, you know, folded over. This is what I bake my polymer clay on because I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get my sheet pan. Okay. So I'm doing that lifting up and you can go back as many times as you want. You don't have to just, you know, do one sign. Let's do this. And let's see what we get. I'm just going to push it down the same as I've been doing all the rest of the stuff and lift up. Yes. Okay. So you can see, you get all these great designs again, you know, you just keep pushing down until it's all gone and you see, or you can do the old fashioned way and just go like this and you get it up that way too. So there's just a few, just a few tips there. You know, if you're kind of stuck and kind of feeling uninspired, pick your favorite colors and put them down on a piece of, you can, use, you can even use your, a piece of parchment paper or plastic or whatever. Uh, and you, you know, pour it on that as well. You don't have to have glass, but if you do, you know, I just happen to, but you can really make some really cool backgrounds on ATC cards, on, like I said, canvases, art journals, whatever you are doing. Even some, uh, you know, random acts of kindness, mail art, anything you want. So let me know if you guys try this, what you guys think. I appreciate it. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I hope this helps you guys a little bit. Bye.